So when I moved back home in 2015, it was pretty alarming to realize that there was no coordinated statewide response to our current drug crisis. And so a couple of us had kind of been talking about, you know, what would be cool is maybe if there was a needle exchange here. We're in a garage where uh, volunteers come to pick up supplies for outreach. And so there's a number of supplies in this very messy garage. Because we're sort of a mobile squad, we'll take um, our supplies in little Tupperware containers like this. And so we'll take all the safer injection supplies like cottons and cookers and ties and sterile water, hepatitis C info. And so all that stuff kind of goes into the back of a car. It takes a ton of hours of people power and it's essentially funded out of people's own pockets. This is what needle exchange looks like when you have no support from the government. We are out in the community uh, three days per week providing services at fixed locations and then sometimes doing mobile or backpack outreach. Some days it can be really slow. Some days it can be more eventful. It always depends on the weather. Do you want any waters? Is that um, like purified water? Or? It's, yeah, it's sterile water. So if you put it in your cooker, like, it just makes it so that you're not introducing any nasties in the tap water into your shot. Hey, Jafar. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it just feels so frustrating a lot of the time to watch amazing news from other states where they're getting safer consumption facilities, safe injection facilities, and knowing that we don't even have a legal needle exchange program. We are living in the public health dark ages here. Well, in Iowa specifically, the problem that we have is that there's a growing number of individuals under the age of 30 with hepatitis C. Good seeing you back again. Yes, sir. How have you been? I'm doing good. Hepatitis C is a viral uh, infection that can destroy the liver silently over years and even decades. Currently, individuals that are still actively involved in illicit drug use, Iowa Medicaid does not cover the cost of these hepatitis C treatments. Clean needle exchanges are important. In order for us to eliminate hepatitis C, we're going to have to have clean needle exchange. We're going to have to treat early stage disease. I think the bigger fear that I have is those individuals who are at risk for getting the infection but have yet to be diagnosed. So many of our clients come in and if we just mention, hey, we have hep C testing, do you want one? People just typically say, yeah because a lot of them have never been tested before. Everyone is just walking around assuming that they have this and that they are transmitting it to other people. Okay, just talk to me, talk to me, don't okay. think about it. Okay, it's, uh, I've had my ears pierced so many times too, this should be a Come a little closer thing. to me, yeah, okay. And we barely need any blood, so it's all good. Oh, well that wasn't bad at all. So if the test is positive, then we need to go to the public health department and have them do your blood draw and see whether or not you do have the virus or not. Okay, good news. Thank God, because I'm kind of stressing about it. I'll call my boyfriend and tell him, because he doesn't shoot drugs, and he hates it that I do. And if I get hepatitis C and I give it to him, where else would he have gotten it but from me? So in January of 2017 is when the initial syringe exchange legislation was introduced in Iowa. It was also following the November 2016 election where our state, for the first time in a couple decades, it became dominated by a Republican governor, Republican Senate, and a Republican House. I have a lot of people to grab. They need a lot of pushing and poking and urging from their constituents to move it forward. But yeah, we're hoping that we can get this needle exchange bill through. That's interesting. I've been hearing from him a little bit. The bill just got introduced in the House last Friday, so it's been kind of a like 
go, 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 try to get on these people's list. This is a, the clerk for the representative. There is some opposition to the bill. However, if we're lucky, it will move through the Senate and it will get voted out and it will be on to the House for their review. Uh, I just had a chance to meet with two of the senators on the Republican side, uh, one of whom just doesn't support the bill on sort of moral grounds but was not super engaged or aware oh. of it. Uh, so that was uh, Senator Edler. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's going to be a rough road for the next couple months for us. However, if the bill does pass this year, I was going to move into the modern age of public health. <laughs>